And now we can go for the second part of the question. It was like a second section coming into this topic, time and work. And first we have solved in the previous sessions. It's like working together, A plus B working together. And second section is like if some of the persons leave the job or else if some of the persons join is joining the job. It's like it's simply like any one of the persons getting included or excluded. So second concept will come under the included or excluded thing. And this exactly covers all the questions coming under if a person like if a person A is getting away of the job, is just leaving the job, or else a person called C is joining the job. If I have got that type, that kind of questions, it comes it will come under the topic called as included or excluded type. Got it? And we can go for the same question. A is 10 days, B is 20 days, it's just for your understanding. And I can use the same method as him to get the answer for this question also. But here the question stand like this. Here, here the question says that actually A and B start they work together got it a and b actually start they work together but they work only for two days my first point and after two days it's like after two days a actually leaves the job a actually leaves the job and if b alone do the job how many days he will take that's my question so b alone is like question mark can I able to get my question? The question states that A can work in 10 days, B in 20 days. Got it? And A B actually work together. They can do the work in 2 days. They actually doing the work only for 2 days. After the span of 2 days, A is actually leaving the job. And remaining work is done by B alone. Because actually A is not here right now. Got it? So B alone do the job. Do, do the job. If B is alone doing the job, how many days you will take to complete the full job? That's my question. Ask in this scenario. In this part 2. And this has A is leaving the job, right? So when some person leaves the job, I should take this category. I should I should try the part two kind of thing. And again, don't worry. The same thing we 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 just going to do in this question also. And first step, what's the first step to do in this LCM method? Time of topic, taking LCM. That's good. So here the LCM value we actually took it in the last problem. The same the same numbers. So it is twenty. And I told you LCM should be always considered in terms of parts or units. So this is twenty parts. So LCM is 20 parts and what's the second step? What's the second steps to be done in this LC method for all the sums? Finding the one day work. That's good. So here one day work of A is simply again the same thing. Go for 20 divided by A is part is 10. So A can do two parts per day. If A work alone together then he can do only two parts in one day. And again for B it is again the same 20 by 20. It is one parts per day. If B and work together, work together, he can do one part in one day. And again, what is if A plus B work together? A is for two parts, B is for one part. If A plus B work together, I can simply add them. It becomes three parts per day. And this becomes the same step, same procedure for this sums also. But after finding the LCM and after finding the one day work, you just you just give a stop over there and please go through the question very very carefully. And you just go through the question one and please understand what the story given the question. Here the question simply states that. After, uh, actually A and B start working together. They actually start work together. But after two days, person A is leaving and B is alone continuing the same job. And if it, if it is so, how many days B, B alone will take is my question. Got it? And here it is given that A and B work for two days, right? Got it. If A and B is working for one day, he can they can complete only three parts per day. So this is efficiency of A and B. So if it is like, if A and B work for one day, they can do three parts. Is it so? If they work for two days, how many parts they can complete? The same statement I'm, I'm repeating here. If A and B work together, they can complete three parts in one day. One day, three parts. If it's two days, how many parts they can do? Very well, great, six, six parts. So actually A and B work together and they can complete six parts all together. Got the point? It's given we found that one day, three parts and this two days it is so into two, it's six parts, it's over. So six parts of work is been completed and again put a please put a stop mark there and find what's the remaining part of work. And this is very very important for the included and excluded format. If some questions comes under this topic, this particular part, you just have to find the remaining part of work and this plays a very vital role for getting the next answer. Got it? And the remaining part is nothing but what? The leftover part. It's very simple. A and B already worked together and they completed 6 parts. So it is simply like out of 20, my total parts, out of 20, 
6 has been completed. So what's the remaining part of work? That's good. It's simply 20 minus 16 it is 14. So remaining 14 parts of work is as it is like untouched work. It's been yet to be completed. Got my point? So if they if they asking anything like inclusive, inclusive or exclusive, you just have to find one more step called the remaining part. The same step, nothing to worry. First step is taking LCM. Second step is finding the number of days and third step solution. But before going for a solution, you just go through the question and if it is like included or, or excluded, you just have to find one more thing called as remaining part of work. And this is nothing but the part of work which is left on as it is. Got it? And here it is 20 works. Out of this 20, 6 is been already completed. So remaining work will be like 20 minus 16 is 14 works. Again, this 14 works is done by which person? Who is actually doing this 14 parts of work? Question. B alone does the remaining part of work. Got it? And again, what's B's efficiency? If B alone is doing this work, how many days you might take? Come for this one. Again, B's efficiency is 1 parts in 1 day. Got it? So again, we can go like 14 divided by 1. So answer is 14 days. So B actually need 14 more days to complete the remaining part of work. That's the answer. Able to follow me? After finding the remaining work, you just consider who is actually doing the remaining work. The remaining work is done by person B alone. Got it? If B alone does the work, he takes only one part in one day. He can he, that this is B's efficiency actually. So for completing 14 parts, he takes 14 days. Again, I, I can go like two methods. One is like I can simply divide them directly, or else what can be done? I can take variation. That's nice. So I can compare the work and time. So B's efficiency is one part in one day. So one unit, one part in one day. That's B's efficiency. And here, what's the remaining part of work is it to done? He has to complete 14 parts of work. For 14 parts of work, how many days? X days is needed. So again, work and time are directly proportion. So do cross multiplication. So X equal to 14 days. This is my answer. And this comes under the topic, the part called is included or excluded. And please have it in mind. When I have the part of inclusive or exclusive, I just have to find one more, I just have to do one more step. That is finding the remaining part of work is like very, very mandatory. So please remember, when you when you face questions like this one, you just have to find one more segment is called as a remaining part of work. Remaining part you just have to complete to find the next step. And this remaining part says this stays actually like a shortcut or this stays actually like a uh, launch launching pad for getting the next step. This says like a stays like a hint for getting the next step for the same question. Able to follow me? Good. And now we can move to the third part of the question. Third part we will generally get like working on alternate days. Got it? Again, what's mean by alternate days? What's mean by alternate days? I'm going for same question. A 10 days, B in 20 days. And if it is so, A and B work together. They actually work together, but they work for alternate days alone. If this is so, what can be the answer? How can you solve it? Again, again the same step. Take LCM. LCM is 20 and the unit of this 20 is parts or units. So 20 parts is my total work to be done. And finds A's one day's work is 20 divided by 10. It is very good. It's one parts per day. Sorry, it's two parts per day. And B is 20 divided by 20. It is one parts per day. And now come to the question. The question is given like they work for alternate days. And the meaning of the word alternate is like the on alternate basis they actually work together. Got it? So this states that, for example, they work for alternate days and uh, keep like A is the person who actually starts the work. Got it? This has a meaning that on the first day, on the first day, who will actually start the work? They work on alternate days means that they actually work on alternate basis like shift basis or something like that. So on the first day who will actually work? I can take A as working. On the first day A alone will work. B won't work actually. B actually doesn't come to the, comes for the first day. Again on the first day end how much of A has been completed? If A work, to, A work alone he can do only two parts in one day right? So A is working for the first day he can do only two parts. Got it? On the second day actually whom will work on the second day? B. That's nice. If, I, if again B is working alone, how many parts he can complete? One part. One part. That's it. Again on third day. Who will work on third day? A. 
again if a work on third day how many parts you will get completed again two on fourth day again b one fifth day again a two it goes on as it is so this is a working method for an alternate days it goes on until the works get completed able to follow me alternate days means that they actually work on the shift basis for each day so first day person a alone will work again second day b alone will work again third day a fourth day b it goes on as it is got it again the work done by a person is two parts per day two parts will be completed in one day again one part completed in second day again two parts in third day it goes on as it is so we simply can take a span of two days that's a thing to be done for alternate days so this take a span of two days in a span of two days how many work they will get completed in a span of two days the work is the work done is three parts of work again for the next two days three and four again three again for next two days it goes on as 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 three so you just have to find the common number of works getting completed so for the, after after getting that one i can again go for the variation type got it again i can compare the work and time here got it and here the scenario is like when for the first two days a and b is working separately on alternate basis they can do three parts of day got it so three parts of work is completed in how many days in two days in two days span three parts is being over again here what's the complete part of work to be done total part is 20 work and i have if i have to complete 20 works on the same basis how many days are required it is x again put cross the sign so that if it is alternate days i i just have to take a span of two days or three days based on the question simple so if it is two days the work complete is three parts so again go for this one got it so here three three parts in two days so 20 parts in how many days it is x here again to cross multiplication so i will get 3x equal to 40 so x equal to 40 by 3 so 40 by 3 what's answer then i can simply go for a fraction or a proper fraction or a proper fraction to get the exact number answer that's it got it so when i divide this one i get 1 and 3 and 3 1 here again 3 again please don't go for don't go for any point numbers the remainder is 1 here actually so simply go for 13 1 by 3 and this could be my exact answer in, in terms of number of days and please try to avoid the point numbers and these are the most frequently asked questions in the topic time and work friends subscribe to watch upcoming tricks of very very important gk topics around 200 videos i am going to upload in future so friends get subscribed to get updates of my upcoming videos if you subscribe you will get the updates of my upcoming videos friends here you can see the subscription link click this box and get subscribed to my channel if you subscribe you can get updates of all my upcoming videos and follow my tricks on facebook whatsapp and telegram you can see all these links below in description friends see in description for complete list of videos topic wise till now i uploaded 300 videos you can see all the videos links and the topic wise below in description friends thank you please share my videos and don't forget to like and subscribe if you subscribe you can get updates of all my upcoming videos thank you have a nice day